Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Sorry I'm late. I just got back from the future and not just any future. Bear with me for a moment. I just got back from the future according to Elon Musk. Tesla's robo taxi. Incredible. This thing's driving itself. Inside the cabin here, there are no pedals, no steering wheel. There's just a giant screen that you can interact with. Down here, there's two cup holders, two USB C, an armrest, seats, seat belt, uh, non adjustable seats. There's no adjustable sides down here. You can move that armrest out of the way and just, you know, enjoy. Enjoy the view as you ride in your robo taxi. Incredible. Thank you, it was phenomenal, this is impressive. So we're in the robo van. What is this designed for? Like transportation. I mean, it's like solves all the needs from, basically when you have multiple groups, if you need to carry boxes, packages, um, all, the, all the needs for mass transportation that are not really well solved right now, you know? But buses are designed for peak capacity. Sure. So they're extra big. Yep. The average like rider um, occupancy is around 12 people. Sure, so 12 and so people this in is here? 14 people in 14? here. And if you need more, you just hire, get another one. Sure. And you know, there's no driver. There's no like fees to pay for the driver or anything like that. So yeah, much more easy to operate, um, and the, the possibilities are endless. Sure. Is this small enough to fit inside a boring tunnel? Is that relevant? Possibly. Possibly. And then again, this is for transportation of whatever. How is this different than the cyber cab? Well, obviously, the cyber cab is designed around like most most rides, most. Um, Rides that people take are, are one, like 95% of rides are about one to two people. So, robot taxi is designed for like generally most rides. And then this is designed for when you have more than six to eight people and you need more or for mass transportation. School buses, regular buses in inner city, cool. um, wedding party, you know, whatever. You go, you go into a game with a bunch of friends and. And this will be configurable. This will all Totally configurable, around. yeah. Wonderful. Cool. Well, congratulations on tonight. Awesome. Thank Thanks you so much. Time. Yeah, Thanks yeah. Oh my God, we're gonna change the world. Right? We're gonna change the world. So that's it then. In the future, Tesla is going to have robo taxis. It's clear, you saw it. And uh, honestly, as much as I want to believe that, as much as uh, they made it real there in Warner Brothers Studios, I think my takeaway from all this is unfortunately that we're not quite there yet, that this is still a future state for Tesla. And that's unfortunate because today in San Francisco, I can call a Waymo robo taxi and go pretty much anywhere. I'm currently in a Jaguar I-PACE that's been upfit by Waymo with additional cameras, radar, LIDAR, every redundancy that they feel that this needs to drive itself safely throughout the city. And honestly, it feels very safe. I take these all the time on like weekend nights, uh, going out with my friends, because they're roughly right now price parity. I think what Tesla's going for with their $30,000 cyber cab is that they can bring the cost down significantly but we'll have to wait till 2026 to see that, or 2025 uh, next year when Elon says that they're gonna push all that same software to the S3, X, Y, and Cybertruck. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. All right, let me see if I can summarize. Overall, that event down at Warner Brothers was very impressive. Tesla put on a large, uh, high volume, high quality event. 
and it was very impressive. Specifically, Optimus, I'm very impressed by. It's likely that that was largely human controlled, but there's still algorithms helping it walk, helping it balance, and honestly, there's already value in telepresence. Uh, think emergency response, or uh, visiting someone at the hospital who you can't otherwise get to. There's actually quite a value in Optimus today. Uh, in the future, hopefully, we'll see a software update that makes it fully autonomous, able to do chores and all that. Uh, but again, it's currently actually pretty valuable. As for the Cyber Cab and Robovan, I'm not as sure. Because you've removed the steering wheel, unless you add it back in, those two vehicles don't really matter uh, at all without a major software update. And I know that Tesla has been incrementally getting closer and closer to full self-driving, but really the, the question has been when. And uh, yeah, basically S3, X, Y, and Cybertruck are the vehicles that still matter today. Until Tesla can provide unsupervised full self-driving, that's all that matters in my opinion. And so that's what I'm taking away from this event. Very cool, look at what the future might look like. Uh, but today, S3, X, and Y, and Cybertruck, are the cars that matter. And for that reason, we will have to wait and see when that software update eventually comes out to make it unsupervised. Until then, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.